Welcome back to another video of Total Tesla. My name is Craig. It's just after 5 o'clock Central Standard Time in St. Louis. And it's been snowing for the majority of the day today. Winter weather advisory has been posted. And it's been, I mean, it's been accumulating, but it's uh, the roads are still wet. Uh, I think left due to leftover salt or any of the solutions that were put down from the weekend. So uh, current temperature right now is uh, 24 degrees. So one thing I love about this car, and you may not see me very well. Let me put the light back on. One thing I love about this car is I'm preheating the car and being ready to, uh, when I leave, the car is ready as far as the heating and warming the car and the, and the battery and everything like that. Um, I, did a, <laughs> I did a test earlier today and uh, had snow covered all over the windows and just wanted to see how long it would take for the defrost uh, to start. And it was basically a t uh, 10 minutes and the whole windshield was clean. So yeah, just wanted to see how that works and yeah, it's great. So definitely recommend if you are looking at a Tesla, uh, not only because of full self-driving, the safety features, the performance and all the other great things that Tesla is offering, especially with like software updates, um, really the comfort features um, that I love um, as far as just the ease of use and being able to pre-treat or preheat condition your car and even in the summertime you get into a cool car with air conditioning I mean it's great you're not uh, running your gas engine or anything like that it just turns it on and you're minimally reducing uh, any of your consumption during the day so it's not a big deal all right so let's get on with our drive we're gonna revisit um, our drive that we did on Saturday to JC Penny. First, we're gonna go to Schnooks. I wanna go over this area just to show you um, lane placement. Um, and in this case, we're gonna go through the intersection and then go into Schnooks parking lot. And then we're gonna go to JC Penny. And I wanna revisit the uh, stop sign that uh, the car clearly missed on Saturday. So we'll take a look at that. So we are ready to go. Um, Self-drive. Here we go. And currently right now, I'm at 98% of full self-driving. So, yeah, it's really nice. Now, it's snowing lightly, I would say. And I'm not sure what that noise was, but okay. Maybe some snow falling off my car. <laughs> and for the wipers, I know we talked about the wipers. Um, it's set to auto. I mean, it could be on or off. But you do have your button on the steering wheel. So if you want to manually hit it, you can definitely manually hit the uh, button. And, and not have to you know, worry about the noise going back and forth for a dry windshield. So... Now, I apologize, being it Monday, and I knew I was going to do a drive today from work, and I forgot my microphone set. So, hopefully the sound is going to come across. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, next to this truck to the left of me. I, I hate trucks. Well, it looks like they're not, it's not a salt truck. It's just a regular tractor truck uh, well landscaping all right good good deal now there is now I am in uh, standard mode going 39 and a 40 it's this the pavement is slushy so is it handling it yes but I'd rather go in sloth I think I, I could lose control. I'm not saying I, I am going to lose control. I just would think that uh, if you want to go into sloth mode, that's what my recommendation is for any of the inclement weather, whether it's snow, rain, heavy rain, things like that. It's always, always uh, to better be safe, you know. Always err on the side of caution, right? Now this, the, the streets are snow packed here. You can see the lines uh, within the tracks of the, tr of the tires here. 
and right now I am in sloth mode going 40 in a 40. I mean, there's no traffic around me, and I feel comfortable. Now the, the car just slowed down a little bit right there. That's good. I'm not sure why I'm going 21 in a mile. 21? 20? Okay. Now this is better. Maybe because of the oncoming traffic merging in, maybe. Let's so hit the windshield wipers. So, yeah. Now, once you get over in the left lane here, that's fine, away from the traffic merging onto the highway. There's snowpack roads. I mean, it's slushy snowpack. Now, this feels much better. I feel, well, I'm going 34 and a 35, but I'm keep my distance from a lot of the other drivers around now this is one area I always have concerns with I'm in this lane this lane ends and you have to veer to the right why isn't my car in the second lane over from the right already it should be so watch what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get to the next intersection and then it's gonna have to merge over this is something that aggravates me. It should be automatically over. Knowing that this is the end, the lane is ending for this for this location. Now this is what you call a mapping issue. But the car should recognize that. So here we go. We're going to need to get over. I got plenty of room to do it right now. As I got a green light. But if there was traffic here, a lot of traffic, then I would be holding up traffic. And now I'm going to have to get over because this is going to turn. So there you go. I had to get over at basically the last minute here before the intersection. We need to get this fixed. That is something that is uh, aggravating. All right, now I'm going to make our right turn into the Schnooks parking lot. It's slowing down pretty nicely. to get that on video because that is something that needs to be corrected it needs to get into the proper lane well in advance and if there if it was really busy I would be sitting there holding up traffic behind me all right so we're in the parking lot yeah it's just gonna park anywhere here now that's fine where are we gonna park oh maybe it's gonna back up and that's fine there's some people around. And then from here, we're going to go right over to J.C. Penny and see about her stop sign. So, yeah, uh, answered a lot of questions on the, the last video, and I appreciate everybody tuning in for that and subscribing to the channel if you haven't. There we go. All right. So we're good to go. Let's go to the next uh, location. And if you're just joining along, please definitely please subscribe. Here we have the uh, wipers again. Let's turn those off. But we'll, if you want to hit the wipers, we got the button. Um, a lot of people, a lot of the questions I got, and I definitely appreciate that. Um, this car is a model. Uh, it's a 2026 Model Y Juniper. Then now it's premium. Uh, it's an all-wheel drive. This is an Austin build. It has the stock Pirelli tires on it. It's a 19 inch wheel. All right, so we got some snowpack a little bit here. So I'm going downhill. I'd be curious to see if this smooth stop. This is good. Yeah, this is nice. Not a bad, not a bad stop here. Perfect. It does say uh, FSD supervised may be degraded, camera visibility uh, limited, clean dirt and debris from the camera. All right, there we go. Now we're going to pay attention here. Let me put my light back on. There's a stop here. This will stop. The car will stop for this one right here. 
That's good. No traffic around. And this one is good too. Good stop. Never know if people are going to be walking out from the parking garage. This is a flashing red light. No big deal. And I like the speed in the zone with the parking garage and the traffic. There's no need to speed. It's, it's doing a really good job. Now there is a stop sign right around the corner right here. Now I wonder, see the stop sign right here? Okay. I stopped. Did it miss that the other day ago? On Saturday? So there's going to be a link in the description. And uh, if you if you haven't seen any of them, it stopped. All right. Maybe uh, the snow hindered the stop sign on Saturday. I don't, I don't recall, but it uh, it stopped. Very good. So, just wanted to revisit that. Um, thanks for again for commenting on the last video. The, what snow apocalypse? <laughs> it's, it wasn't that bad. Uh, I mean, we got uh, 6.4 inches of snow, but in a short amount of time. Um, that's it's storm wasn't that long um, so but it was a uh, heavy wet snow and by the afternoon it was uh, raining already so it melted a lot of the snow all right what we're we gonna do here we're backing up we got our flashers on I wonder why okay did I hit the maybe I hit the flashers oh. maybe I hit that going up put point my hand up in the air but we are, I mean, it, it's snow covered and we're parked in between two spots. All right. Anyway, so yeah, thanks for commenting. Appreciate that. We'll, um, and if you have any questions on my vehicle or any uh, questions on just my full self-driving experience, yeah, please do. Um, just keep in mind, if you're out test driving a car, I recommend doing that. I'm going to put a link in the description for the test drives where you can actually do one at a local mall like this. South County has a service center and a test driving sales, you know, uh, location and even the Fairview, um, uh, Chesterfield location. And I believe, is it Edwardsville in, in, around the uh, Illinois side? So, but yeah, you can easily pick a location out anywhere in the country that's closest to you and test drive a vehicle and get 14.2.1 and see what FST is all about. So let's end the video now. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment if you can. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching Total Tesla. Take care.